Are those airmites? Are these Samael's flunkies? Come on, we've got to rescue Nautical and the others. Here. Spring forth. Your journey ends here. Germinate! Lord of Sand, your sacrifice is ready. Oh, I'm just so happy that you're all right, too. Oh, they really came at us. Luckily, Jabril gave us some instructions beforehand, so they didn't make things too difficult for us. If Bonifats had Jabril's wisdom, then perhaps our business would be doing much better than it currently is. You think too highly of him, then. Wisdom? He's one of them. I'll bet it's experience talking. Father wouldn't do something like that. There's no need to argue with him, Jed. It's my fault. I don't care what happened in the past. As far as I'm concerned, you have nothing to do with Samael now, and that's enough for me. W what's going on? I thought a night in the Oasis might bring all of you closer together. Why are you at each other's throats again? It's a long story. You tell Noctigal everything. I see. But I don't have the right to comment on it. Oh? Why is that? Well, that's because Tirzad is the one who's paying me. No matter who I support, I'll be in a difficult spot. If I support Jabrail, Tirzad will probably scream at me to get lost. But if I support Tirzad, then we'll be without Jabrail in this world of sand and bandits. Ether, what would you do in a situation like this? I think Jabrail has changed his ways. Paimon doesn't think Jabrail's a bad guy either. Anyway, that guy Samael has a weird way of speaking. It's best not to believe everything he says. Jabrail is his enemy. Yeah, so they're definitely not on the same side. I believe that the most important thing right now is to get Tirzad to trust Jabril. What? You're a merchant. You should know the value of trust. Even in the world of academics, researchers who engage in misconduct will be stripped of their research qualifications. Just ask yourself, would you trade with someone who cheated you in the past? Oh, about that. I would decide based on the circumstances. I dare not speak for others, but Bonifaz and I have much more flexible moral standards. After weighing the risks and the benefits, we usually choose to take the risk. We wouldn't have accepted your commission otherwise. Ugh, you guys! I think I said this before, but you sure are stubborn. Forget about Samael for a moment and ask yourself a question. Has Jabril ever done anything to harm you? No, I don't think so. Then hasn't he proven himself through his actions? You know, when you caused all that commotion after getting drunk, it was Jabril who stayed and took care of you, Tirzad. <sighs> this isn't the time for fighting amongst ourselves. Yeah, we haven't even found the place marked on the map yet. 
Jabril is definitely the person in our group who knows the most about the desert. It'll be difficult for our expedition to proceed without him leading the way. Fine. I'll do it for you. I know I can trust you too, Paimon, Ether. I'll trust you again. All right! The Tirzad archaeological team is back together again! We still have time. We should travel to the next oasis and rest there in preparation for the next leg of this expedition. I... I'm willing to explain, to repay you for your trust. But the journey is our current priority. There's a lot to discuss, but let's set up camp first. Now that our bellies are full, what other excuses do you have? Let's hear them! And what did you slip to Noctagall earlier? You'd better not be thinking of using the merchants to send messages to the enemy. Tirzad, you're being too hostile. No one's going to talk if you act like that. It was just a note on some trivial matters. It's with the luggage that you won't be able to take with you. You can have it once you return safely. He can be hostile all he wants. I'm angry too. Forget Tirzad, even I've never heard about my father's past. I refuse to believe he's an evil person, but it's his secretiveness that caused all of this. None of this would have happened if he told us everything from the beginning. Ugh, now I don't even know where to start. Maybe we should start with his relationship with Samael? Exactly! I can't sleep in peace without getting to the bottom of that. All of you heard Samael, yes? Well, he was telling the truth. Just like him, I was a member of the Aramite band named Thotmos. However, I betrayed him and Thotmos both. Did you do it because of Mother? No, that's not it. I thought I'd never have to mention this to anyone ever again. In the end, it was all my fault. There were ill feelings between me and Samel, but I only regarded myself as an insignificant grain of sand. I did as Thotmos needed of me. Ufero was a capable researcher, and the Thotmos coveted her wisdom. They hoped to use her knowledge to solve the puzzle Alec Mar left behind. So I invited her to the desert and explored many ruins with her. Our years spent exploring together did bear some fruit, but it wasn't enough for Thotmos. And was Jet included in those results? <laughs> Come on, Tirzad, some things are best left unsaid. I'm making a reasonable inference here. As I said, there were ill feelings between Samel and me. After Jet was born, I kept asking myself if I could still wholeheartedly carry out the missions Thotmos gave me, as I had been doing in the past. Could I still tolerate what Samel was doing? In the end, Lafair and I decided to use hitting a bottleneck in her research as an excuse to take Jet away from the desert and away from Thotmos. But Samel saw through my weakness. A researcher that can't unlock the secrets of Alakmar is worthless to Thotmos. Even thought I would have no reason to leave Thotmos once Ufara was gone. Father. I... what? How do you even sleep at night after witnessing things like that? I... I do my best. So our encounter with Samael was a coincidence? Yes, and no. Thotmos will never give up an opportunity to unlock Alakmar's secrets. I thought that we might encounter them, but I never expected that we would run into Samael. Those Fatui too! Paimon wonders what wicked plots they and Samael are hatching together! He will stop at nothing to achieve his objectives. It's the kind of person Samael is. Then what's your goal on this trip, Jabrail? My goal? It's not Mora, is it? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he was here for the Mora. After all, someone like Tirzad who's foolish and rich, <laughs> I mean, generous, is pretty hard to come by. I'm not drunk, you know! I heard it all! Perhaps it's as Jet said. Coming to the desert is like returning home, and in the end, I'm a grain of sand. I was born here, and I shall be buried here as well. 
Ufara and I were like a bird and a fish, but Alak Mar's secrets allowed our fates to intertwine. Now you and I, people from different lands, are again here for those very same secrets. I didn't mention all of this to you because it was my own selfish dream. And it had nothing to do with Jet. I didn't want to make her bear any burdens she didn't have to. Tirzad, we hold different opinions on Anak Mar, but you are one of the researchers from the Hindi clan, as long as we reach the throne. The throne? Our destination tomorrow, Kajnisut, is where Anak Mar's throne lies. According to the legends of the desert, only the Chosen are worthy to kneel before the throne. The times have changed. If I have a chance to look upon the golden slumber that Alak Mar promised, I'll be able to fulfill the lifelong wish that Ufera and I share. To that end, I will do as we agreed and protect you to the end. Hmm. Alright. Our side would be the weaker by far if it were just Ether and me. Hey! How could you forget about Paimon? I don't think you can be included in any estimation of our group's strength. Hmm. Paimon's definitely stronger than you, though. Anyway, I have new worries now. Jibrael, don't you have revenge on your mind at all? I know you've repeatedly promised to protect me until the commission is over, but... The loss of your wife isn't something you can just laugh off, is it? If we meet him again... No, I think we definitely will. Even I know that he'll be waiting in ambush for us at our final destination. At that time, what will your priority be? Will you take us to Ford to get revenge, or step back to keep us safe? Come on, Tirzad! Stop putting people on the spot like that! It's a very realistic question, and it's linked to my survival, so of course I have to pursue an answer. If taking revenge on Samel would bring Afera back to life, a good deal like that. Even if I had to gut him ten times, even a hundred times, I wouldn't hesitate at all. <laughs> but this is a meaningless delusion that even Alak Mar would pay no attention to. I can only pray that she found peace amidst the endless ocean of sand. A man chained by hatred cannot raise a daughter. That's why I left the sands behind me. So that Jet could get away from all of this. And those feelings that will not edify her. Father, I, I didn't know anything. I even said that you did all this because... You couldn't forget the desert and the hot winds here. If you hate it here, let's just leave right now. Forget some mail. To be honest, I want to know about the past. I want to know how you and mother met each other and fell in love. I want to know what you and mother had been through. The sweet memories and everything else. But if bringing up these memories will bring you sorrow, then I'd rather not hear about them. Just leave them buried here. I'll stop liking the sand, and I'll stop treating this place as home. We've been together since I can remember. Nothing in this world is more important to me than you. So long as you're well, we can be at home anywhere. Wait. Wait! You can't leave! Our expedition isn't over yet! But you were so suspicious of them just a while ago. Th things change! I fully trust Jabrail now! He certainly isn't on Samael's side, at least. Uh, he isn't, right? Don't worry. I won't quit halfway. Perhaps a day will come when I shall meet her again in the Eternal Oasis. When that day comes, spring water will replace salt water. Joy will wash away the pain. Roses will never wither, and the feasts will never end. But that day is still very, very far away. It will definitely not be now. She knows that I have a mission to complete. I will assist you in unlocking the secrets of Alak Mar, and protect you until the end. Samel will not obstruct us, because I will clear him out of our way. As for Ufera, if I have the chance, I'll tell you everything, Jet. Time will gradually filter away the bitter impurities, though I'm not good with words. I may not be able to even convey the thousandth of her beautiful qualities, but if you're willing to listen, I will tell you everything I know. My, my head's a mess. Uh, father, can you sing that song again? 
O oh, stars high above the wasteland. It always calms me. It's a song that O'Farah deciphered from Alec Moore's texts. O oh, stars high above the wasteland, O oh, nightingales weary from the day, it's time to take off the crown of roses, cleanse yourself with wine made from graves. I'll take the night watch. Don't stay up too late. Phew. We're finally here. But... Is the alcohol still clouding my mind, or has the sand distorted my vision? Is this really the place we're looking for? I can see Kajna's soot, but it feels like I also don't. Actually, I've been meaning to ask. You clearly can't hold your alcohol, so why are you so fond of drinking? Eat. Eat? I'd hoped it would prove my fountain of wisdom, but it makes my world spin instead. Ugh. You're right, I really should slow down a little. But I'll be fine! Noctagall gave me some invigorating drinks before we left, so I'm as clear-headed as can be. It feels like we're missing a little something here. Just a little might be an understatement. Kajna Soot is where it should be, but it seems to be refusing to show itself to us. And what's that supposed to mean? Shh. Look over there. It's the Eremites! They got here before us! Huh? What should we do? Avoid them? No. Let's go have a little chat with them. But we didn't get along last time, and we even fought each other. Can we even talk to them now? <laughs> Tirzad, do you think we're going over there to invite them for tea? We're going to communicate in our own way, of course. And if all else fails, we'll talk with our fists. It is what my father and I are best at. Who are you? Ha! The researcher and the trader? Good! Give us the stuff Samail mentioned. Give you what? We don't owe you anything! Huh! Acting dumb won't save you! Take this! Whoa! Well, looks like negotiations are broken down! You are Time not welcome here! <laughs> 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 Yeah! 
Strange. It feels like they didn't go all out. What did they mean when they mentioned Samael's orders? Is it about Ben Ben? Ben Ben did get taken away before. Beep? Beep. Hmm. It is possible. Besides Tirzad, we must protect Ben Ben well too. They've probably stayed for a while. Let's look around. There might still be some clues. Jabril! We found this! Though, we're not sure if it's a useful clue. When I was still with Thotmos, we used to leave messages for each other in code just like this. Oh! So you can read it, Jabril? Samael should be aware that he can. Huh? Th then this is all a trap that Samael set for us? I knew your past would come back to bite us. <sighs> come on, Ben Ben. Why don't we just return to Sumeru City now? It is quite regrettable that my paper won't have its final two chapters, but I can always return again if I'm still alive. E? Next time, I should get help that has a clean background. We could use this against them. What do you mean? Where are the latecomers here? They've been here for quite some time. And they've made some discoveries, of course. They just lack something crucial, so they can't advance. And we just so happen to have what they need. Ben Ben. Yes, and the stone slate. Instead of taking them from us, they have a better way of getting what they want. Oh, so they'd like to sit back and claim the fruits of our work? Yes, they'd prefer it if we solved everything for them. Oh, I get it. They're the people in joint research projects that contribute nothing, but take all the credit when it's time to present your findings. But they won't be able to get what they want if we get stuck here too. So we can use this against them. We can't avoid a fight once everything has been uncovered, but yet, either, neither of you will run from a fight, right? Of course! I've decided to punch that guy right in the face when we meet again! The Aramites are nothing. Yeah, we fought worse. Sorry to interrupt, but there must be a safer method, right? Just think about it. The ruins have been here for years, so just a few months, or even a few years, won't change anything. We can come back later. <sighs> Using their plan against them is a bad idea. All four of you do seem so full of confidence, but that's because you're skilled fighters. But there are just too many of them. Python can fly away and hide if things go south, but what about me? For safety's sake, we should return to Sumeru City and draw up a plan. No, even Aru Village would be fine. Those Thotmos folks may believe in King Deshret, but that doesn't mean they won't touch the ruins. If he can't do it through ordinary means, Sumer will use other means. If they solve King Deshret's puzzles before us, these ruins probably won't be the same when you return, Tirzad. What? But they're all relics! They may be precious relics to you researchers from the Academia, but they clearly aren't to those Thodmos. It's all just a process. A phase. They only care about the final objective. Results are what matters to them. Tirzad, do you still not get it? We have no other choice now. Oh, it saddens me to think that I won't get to celebrate my success because I'll have to face the fangs of that venomous snake who will leap out of the shadows. He may be in the shadows, but we're prepared for him. I won't let him touch you. According to this coded letter, Alakmar's throne only shows itself to the worthy who have passed the three trials. The three trials. Maybe that refers to the buildings all around us? You know, there are so many huge statues here. Paimon's worried that they'll just come to life. Maybe the trial is to defeat them. I can only hope that you're wrong.
Yeah, we're obviously inside, but where's the throne? Why would you think the throne would be facing the entrance? It isn't a receptionist desk. Hmm. Actually, I feel like I shouldn't say such uh, disrespectful things in a place like this. Anyway, King Dishret's throne should be in a more dignified place. Or in simpler terms, a place that's higher up. The mechanisms here probably stopped working a long time ago. We got to find a way to reactivate them. Ooh! Paimon can't wait to see what the throne looks like! Everything linked to King Deshret is huge! So that throne is definitely very, very huge, right? <laughs> Paimon wants to take a seat on it! Beep! Beep! Something seems to be the matter with Ben Ben. It seems like it wants to go down. Huh? But Tirzad said the throne is definitely higher up. Hmm. To go up, we must first go down. You cannot reach a peak without falling to your lowest. Just like... Just like in life. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Looks like you learned quite a bit these past few days you spent with me, eh? Paimon feels like just sitting on it is going to make Paimon super great! I want to sit on it too. I may disapprove of a tyrant like King the Shred, but your thoughts might be a little too audacious even so, Paimon. Anyway, nothing happened. Huh? Is something lacking? Or perhaps we made a mistake somewhere? <sighs> Jabrail did mention that only the Chosen may kneel before the throne. Maybe you really have to kneel before the throne? But I'm a researcher of the Academia. I can't kneel before a tyrant's throne, and it's an empty throne too! Don't worry, it won't be empty once Paimon sits there. You're seriously... <sighs> Jet, please help me with Paimon... Jet? Wait, where did Jet go? She was still with us just a moment ago, right? Some mail. Jabrail, are you still refusing to admit that you are a Thutmose deep down? Self-deceiving makes no difference for people like us. You know it. al Akmar's throne is right before us. Aren't you obsessed of it too? No mere grain of sand can reject the golden slumber. al Akmar's promise is the paradise that all of us dream of. Did you think betraying the Thutmose would be enough to deny your nature? Ha! <laughs> I knew you would be back. Little Jed, do you see it now? Once he laid eyes on al Akmar's throne, your dear father forgot everything, even you. That was my mistake! It has nothing to do with him! <laughs> you're just as stubborn as your father, but your talkativeness... Mm, I guess you must have gotten that from Ufera, huh? Samael, we've solved everything for you and brought you to the throne. Your dream should be fulfilled. Jed is useless to you, so why keep her? I see, so you're finally showing your true colors, huh, Jabrail? Use their plans against them. You're just one of them, like I expected. <laughs> so this is your choice. Looks like your companions never really trusted you at all. Tirzad, your expedition should be over now. We've explored the entire Kajanisa, and now you have all the knowledge you need for your paper. We should start considering how to get back safely now. I promise to protect you until the end, and I'll keep my word. Such greed. Jabril, I thought I knew you, but I really don't understand what you're doing right now. You're trying to shoulder every burden. Your daughter's safety, that researcher's commission, and even al Akmar's secrets. I thought you learned your lesson about greed when Ufera died. Oh, sorry. Or should I say, I taught you that lesson when Ufera died. Oh, perhaps you learned your lesson, and you're prepared to pay the price now. Let's see which one amongst them will be the price you pay. This weirdo keeps saying weird stuff. Paimon's getting confused. Haven't we uncovered everything? And 
What are Alakmar's secrets anyway? And the golden slumber. Aren't those just desert superstitions? Things like that are too vague. There's no research value in them. If they say anyone who gains King Deshret's wisdom is permitted to enter the golden slumber and enjoy eternal peace and happiness there. Besides ignorant children, who could take that seriously? Huh, you third-rate researcher. Oh, if Ufera were alive, she would have written multiple books by now. Someone like you has no right to talk about al Akamar's legacy. Mm, enough! If you wish to sit on al Akmar's throne, then do as you please. I won't stop you, and I won't let Tirzad do that either. I opened the path to Alakmar's throne for you, and I used Tirzad and Ether to make Kajnisa manifest itself. I don't think I owed Tirzad anything. He wanted a paper that could shock the academic world. Now he has the material that no one else has. I have helped him accomplish his objective. Now give Jet to me, and we'll be even. Hmm, I'm really curious. Why are you always so evasive whenever al Akmar's secrets are mentioned? It's an empty throne, anyone can sit on it. An unqualified and mediocre person won't become great just by sitting on it. That prayer is the key, but of course you know that. Hmm, well it all makes sense if we were planning to return alone. Unfortunately, unless you're willing to pay with little Jet's life. Nothing is more important than family. Yeah! Paimon may not know what the secrets of Alec Marty keeps mentioning are, but it doesn't matter if it's the truth or if it's superstition like Tirzat says. Both strength and endless wealth are nothing before family. What kind of prayer has that much appeal? I refuse to believe it, but I don't mind listening in. It wouldn't hurt to include as an anecdote in my paper. If something like that can be exchanged for Jet's safety, then stop hesitating and tell him. To be honest, I expect that we might have to fight for our lives to get home, so isn't it great that we can resolve this peacefully? I never expected to see such intense superstition. I guess my knowledge is still lacking. Perhaps this superstition, linked to King Deshred as it is, may be worth studying after all. Uh. Oh, stars high above the wasteland. Jabrail recites the song he sang softly at night in the oasis. Huh? But isn't this... Uh, father? Jabrail? Why? Get ready. Oh, stars high above the wasteland, huh? I see. Samael repeats the prayer. What is this? Ether, he looks so strange. He fell asleep. No, wait, he isn't breathing. He got what he wanted. He's inside the golden slumber that al Akmar promised. The eternal dreamland. So that's what you meant by the eternal dreamland? What happened to Samael? None of you will leave this place alive. Ether, get ready for battle. Yeah. Yeah. 
Father, what's going on? That prayer... Jabrail, you mentioned that Jet's mother deciphered it from all Akmar's texts. I didn't expect it to be used here. But, is all Akmar's golden slumber a way to send his believers into eternal sleep? That makes it more terrifying than I ever imagined. I really should get back and update the collective knowledge of the academic world! Eek! Thank goodness Paimon didn't sit on that throne! Guess sitting on a seat that doesn't belong to you really doesn't end well, huh? I have so many questions. Ufara made this inference about all Akmar's promise. Those who offer the correct prayer to all Akmar will be granted entry into the Golden Slumber, but it's a one-way trip. No one can move freely between the Eternal Dreamland and reality. Looks like Ufara was right. Samel is gone forever. I must admit, that was a very risky gamble. But all that matters is Jet is safe. That's right! Everyone's safe, and that's the most important thing! Hmm, let me summarize the overall situation now. Jet's back safely, and Samael's subordinates have been defeated. Samael, he got his wish, didn't he? If he wasn't such a villain, I'd even feel like thanking him. Anyway, uh, since he's in the paradise he dreamed of, I don't need his permission to use him as a case study in my paper, right? 
<laughs> All's well that ends well, eh? I, Tirzad, hereby announce that this archaeological expedition has been completed successfully and has yielded great results. Is it really over? This doesn't feel real. Actually, it isn't over. I mean, the minimum requirement in the commission was to escort me safely back to Aru Village, right? Hmm, that's true. Tirzat's commission isn't over, so I can't slack off just yet. Father and I will be free once we escort Tirzat back safely. <laughs> then we can go wherever we want. Oh, I'm not talking about the desert, by the way. I mean literally anywhere. It's fine, Jet. I'm willing to accompany you wherever you want to go. As for Afera, I'll tell you about her, if you're willing to listen. There's her research notes too, but I don't know if you'll be interested in those. I was worried about losing them, so I didn't bring them along. I left them in some luggage with Bonifaz, once we return to Aru Village and get our luggage. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hmm? Does anyone else feel like something's wrong? Something's coming this way! What's going on? How could this be? Beep! Beep! Is it Samel? Oh no. If he gained Olakmar's wisdom, then even if it's just for an instant, he would have gained Olakmar's authority. We must leave immediately! We must defeat Samel, who has stolen Olakmar's power, but his physical form in this world must have been destroyed already. So that makes him formless. Then how can we defeat him? Don't tell me he's invincible in the internal dreamland. Uh, unless someone goes to where he is. Unless someone stops and defeats him in the eternal dreamland. I must... I must protect you. Father, but how are you going to come back? Didn't you say that no one can move freely between the eternal dreamland and reality? There's no time to lose. I promise to keep you safe until the end. I can't let you all die here. There's no time to lose. I promise to can't let you all die you all die here. What is this place? Jabril. <laughs> You're here. I knew it, I knew it. We are the twin blades of Thutmos, our lives dedicated to uncovering the secrets of the golden slumber. You took the long way around, but it doesn't matter anymore. We've met again here, at the end of that path. You were just lost before, but the sands of the Thutmos always return before Al Akmar's throne. Like the dehydrated thirst for a spring, only the illusion of the eternal oasis can relieve our agony. I'm inside. The golden slumber promised by al -Akmar. Oh... You are not us... yet. It's fine. Soon, there will be no you. You will become a part of us. This meaningless talk will be unnecessary then. No, no! I'm here to stop you! My mission is to protect. I must protect Jed and the others. Why? Why care about such trivial matters? Great power is right before you. It's like a torrent in the desert. Don't you feel it? You should obey. Al Akmar's will is our will. The Thutmose's dreams are our dreams. No! Ufara taught me that I'm not just a part of you. I'm an independent person. I have my own dreams. I won't go back! Jabril, why don't you understand? Love is just a fever. I even eliminated the infection for you. Has the heat made you lose your mind? You're the one who's lost their mind, Samel. Not me. The golden slumber that al Akmar promised us isn't like this. It's not a sad place with only we and no I. I'm not sad. I know what I want. My dream is to be one of the Thudmos. Yet you, the warmth of another, 
I despise such feelings. It makes you weak. Your betrayal was like a blade in my chest. But I obtained Al Akmar's wisdom, and that wound I thought would never heal is nothing but a memory now. You've realized it too, haven't you? That drowsiness. Al Akmar is summoning you into the dream. Stop arguing meaninglessly with me. Come, fall into deep sleep. When you awaken again, no, when we awaken again, nothing will be left standing in our way. The Thutmose's dreams will be fulfilled. No! You're my enemy. My dream is... is... We are the dunes, and you are a grain of sand. We are one, you know this. No! I'm the treacherous Grit. I abandoned the Thothmos and chose a different path. You took the long way around, but you reached the correct destination. Admit it, this is the dream hidden within your heart. I... Wanted to return to this place? Yes, you did. There is no hatred here, only eternal peace. No bitter salt water, only an endless spring. Sleep, Jabril. Sleep. Ah. Father! Father! His body has disappeared. He's not coming back. Shit. This can't be. I refuse to believe it. He always keeps his promises. He promised to tell me about my mother. All of you heard him. He wouldn't lie to me. He never lies to me. <laughs> I refuse to yield. Jet is right. I'm a man of my word. I promise to protect them. Until the end. I see. Your ties to the mundane inhibit you. Just like that infection. I just have to eliminate them. The door is open? It must be Jabril. It's still shaking, Jet. It's dangerous here. We can't stay, or else a sacrifice would mean nothing. Leave if you want. Father... Father will be back. He'll be so sad if he couldn't find me when he wakes up. I won't leave him. <laughs> How foolish. But these trivial troubles will vanish with the wind soon. I won't let you win! <laughs> I finally get it. Samel, you're right. There will be no me, only us. But you're not the only one who can decide our will. You can't be serious! Samel, the twin blades of Thubmos are equal. So, die here. With me! Jet, forgive me. You'll have to go on alone from now on. No, I'm sure you won't forgive me. After all, it's my first time breaking a promise to you. I hear the voices of many here. I think I hear Afera too. She's humming the song of her home. Oh, if only you could hear it too. Why couldn't I have told you a little bit more about her? Her soft curly hair. And that innocent smile of hers. I have so many things I want to share with you. But I'm no longer able to distinguish if they are my memories. Or our memories. Sorry. The door's closed again? Thank goodness we made it out in time. Jabril protected us, but he... <sighs> Father! <laughs> e beep -boop beep e it must be Jabril who opened the door for us. Without him, we would have been... He fulfilled his promise. This place may not be completely safe. Let's meet up with Noctagal's group and head back to Aru Village. Refusing to give up, Jet examined the entrance to Kajnisut time after time, only to find the door tightly shut. Behind it was dead silence. Things had happened and were beyond redemption. Jet, now having but to accept reality, put away Jabrail's axe carefully. 
It is the only thing he has left behind. We finally managed to persuade her to come back with us to the camp. We then informed the merchants of what happened and returned to Aru village. To think that something like that happened. Animo Archon bless us all. <sighs> I'm really sorry about what happened to Jabrail, but at least all of you returned safely. I think we might have to reconsider our career as traveling merchants. The desert is a hundred times more dangerous than I expected. Even someone as capable as Jabrail, and nobody like me doesn't have that many lives. Oh. This may be bad timing, but I have to ask about what all of you plan to do now. I believe Tirzad will be returning to Sumeru City. Me? Yes, I will. I... I should head back and start writing my paper. I must record everything that I witnessed. But not for academic glory or anything. Jabrail did as he promised he would, yet I... I've always been avoiding my responsibilities. Now it's my turn. I too must shoulder my responsibilities. And as for this stone slate? I've prepared a replica for reference. As for the original, I hope you'll keep it safe for me. I'm not trying to run from danger. It's a commission, you hear it? A commission! Just think about it. I'll be completely occupied with my paper soon, but an adventurer like you will never stop adventuring, right? If you make new discoveries during this time, wouldn't we make the perfect team? The thesis material shall be mine, and the more are yours. That's perfect! We'll be making the best use of all our resources. And Jet, what do you plan to do now? Do you have any friends you can rely on or something? Father, he was so busy he never had the time for anything. He didn't leave anything behind. Just that axe he always used. Father said he hoped he could meet her again in the Eternal Oasis. He said that day was still very, very far away. Liar! He lied to me! And to my mother! He should keep his own promise! Now I have to fulfill it for him! And take his axe and mother's research notes, which he kept with his luggage, to the Eternal Oasis. I hope they'll find true peace there. Beep! Is there anything we can do to help? Thank you, but it's alright. While I was taking a quick look through my mother's research notes, I noticed what seemed like casual diary entries on the edges of the pages. I found out that my father's from this tribe called Tunit, so I plan to look for them. Perhaps they can tell me about my father. <sighs> sorry, I just... I haven't... I'm sorry. Let's give her a moment to herself. Yeah. Anyway, Noctigal and I will be staying here for a while. We'll think long and hard about our future. We should be staying in Sumeru for some time, too. Paimon just has this feeling that there are so many more secrets to uncover. Come to us if you need anything. We'll do our best to help you. And good luck in your adventures.